me! F hey! See? Gets more difficult. Huh? NANI? Out of here! What the f was that?! What's up guys? This is Mike from Race Break Gaming, and I'm gonna welcome you to my newest Retro Saturdays Let's Play Let's Walkthrough Series. Viewers, I wanna welcome you back to the Mega Man X series. To a game that's not very well liked, I must say. But nothing on the scale of the seventh game. Holy shit, that one was bad. But X6, nah, it is a charm. It takes place three years after the Eurasia Colony incident that started back in X5. Sigma hired a mysterious reploid named Dynamo, and he let the Eurasia Colony in into orbit into Earth, thus beginning the tragic Earth crisis. Zero, taking the Earth's destiny into his own hands, one Reploid made the crash against the ferocious space colony and destroyed it. But, space colony was destroyed, everything went to shit on the Earth, but the Earth was saved, but the huge explosion really damaged it. As far as the battle with Sigma, well, we already know how that went. <laughs> Drop dead! Ooh! Literally. However, jokes on Sigma! Ew! X and Zero defeated Sigma and narrowly escaped with their lives. However, only one would return from the battle, a blue light X. Still gripping a familiar saber in his hand. Three years later, or rather three weeks later at present. There's so much pollution on the ruined earth from the explosion that Reploids can barely work. As president of all this, we are so sorry. <laughs> Literally. But viewers, welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X6! Yes! You'll notice right away that the title screen looks vastly different than what you expect from the OG version of X6. Yeah, this one I'm playing Let's Play Mega Man X6 Tweaks. Yes, this is a modded version of the original X6 with increased difficulty and all this is customizable when you get the mod firsthand and stuff like that you can customize how much damage you can put out what ranks you can get the parts everything like that so i made it so all the enemies in the game have really like all the bosses have really high as um vitality bars and stuff like that Making them a much more better challenge. The bosses will hit harder. Because I customized them to do more damage. So as such. Yeah it's going to be a much more difficult X6 playthrough. Than, than it was in my original run. <laughs> Trust me. It gets harder from here. Now at the beginning. You can normally just set and just use a code. In order to get either um ultimate armor x or black Z uh, ooh, sorry sorry i i, I don't want to spoil anything but yeah um that another armor that too not spoiling anything by the way yeah now obviously just like with my previous run i'm going to be using extreme mode which is the more higher difficulty setting but come on we all know extreme mode is shit <laughs> but it's still better than normal mode so Normal mode is for... No, no, no. I, I can't say that because I've done normal mode in the past. But extreme mode is the best. Now then. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention that the game has Japanese um voice titles or voiceovers and stuff. So just like if... Just like as if they were talking English stuff, I'll try and shut up or interject when I can because the plot in, in the game is kind of hilarious in a way too. You'll see what I mean later. Yeah. yeah, it looks like they made no difference at all. Even though we did manage to save the earth, it still looks like shit. Huh. We should be thankful for this shit. <laughs> Bull. Hmm, I wonder. Who's this gate guy? 
Why do I feel so uneasy? That's the plot, dude. That's the plot. What's this? Huh. Piece of Sigma, maybe? Oh no. <laughs> many, many. Yeah. What is it? One week later. <laughs> what the fuck happened to him? So he finds this piece of junk, and then one week later, he looks like he's fucking possessed. He's gone maverick! No, he has gone maverick. Take note though, I'm not using the original um, translation for X6. I'm using a retranslation of X6. So if, the so if the dialogue sounds different than it would in the normal X6 playthrough, that's the reason why. Here's another thing that I'm going to mention right off the bat. During these particular cutscenes, just like with the X4 and X5 ISOs and stuff like that, there will be times in which I may have to pause the screen or something like that because the screen will freeze up for a second. But I can use the fast forward option and just get past some of that. But there are times like during boss intros and stuff in which I have to cut the recording and cut it back on and stuff like that and load up the um the CD image just for it to fucking work again. So yeah, I had to do I had to do this for my X4 and X5 playthroughs back in the day on the channel. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do it for X6 too, unfortunately. So if you notice a lot of me fast forwarding ahead during dialogue, it's because I'm trying to, you know, get it up to where it needs to be and stuff like that. Cause like I said, it'll freeze sometimes. So just fair warning. I must contain myself. Yeah, all those who couldn't understand the brilliance of my work. Yeah, those fools. <laughs> you all shall bow to me and suck this robotic. A, a, a utopia only for reploids. Hmm. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> I'll be king up in this bitch. X. X. What the hell? Yeah, get up now, X, or I will haunt you in your dreams forever! Yeah, there we go, fast forwarding, viewers, see? Because it can freeze sometimes, just like that. Uh. Oh no, Alia has voice acting. No! You gotta get out there now! There's work to be done! Yeah. Get your ass out of bed! <laughs> In any case... Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah viewers, I forgot to mention, I can change the, the custom sprite palettes of, um, of the armors as well. There's an option for X6 tweaks in which you can start the game as Ultimate Armor X or any of its other armors that are unlockable in the game. Normally, you would start X6 in X's old X5 Falcon armor, but with limited options, limited mobility and shit like that. It's it's pretty shit. So, there you go. But yeah, I changed the color palette for, for X's Ultimate Armor. There's like four different color palettes you can switch, like dank black. I decided to put like a crystal whitish kind of color to make it look similar to one of his armors back um, in X8, which I will eventually do on the channel. Looks like most of the mechanoloids in this area have gone maverick. You, ha you haven't been out in the field for a while, X, so be careful. 
I'll be fine, don't worry. Besides, I have the Falcon armor and Zero Saber with me. Oh yeah, they did. We, we do see X with Zero Saber at the beginning. About that, I couldn't fully repair the Falcon armor's flight system, but I managed to modify it into an air dash system. No problem, I'll keep that in mind. Well, I'm moving out. Roger that. There's an entrance leading to some ruins ahead of me. Head over there. Right. But in the case, just like X4 and X5, X's ultimate armor is badass. For one thing, you can charge up the, the heavy plasma shots like that, which can carry over if you fire into one enemy. It can sometimes split into a second shot if there's an enemy like literally next to it. It's pretty cool. Not only that, but X can hover in the air if you press the X button. Literally. It's pretty cool. Now, not only that, but X also has one of my favorite features of the ultimate armor. Boom! The Nova Strike, bitches! Yeah, just press the X button. Um, press X with R2. And you can perform an invincible air dash called the Nova Strike. It is fucking glorious. It's glorious, bitches. The Colony Ruins, however, is not so glorious. Ah, oh, bitch! Ah! Now, if you see these exclamation points at the lower right side of the screen, that's Alien chiming in to give you hints and tips and all that other shit. Luckily for us, unlike X5, Alien won't interject in shit randomly during the stage. It's like, oh, watch out for this. There's a such a spot there. Like, bruh, fuck off. Like, literally, I couldn't stand it at all. But luckily, we don't have to worry about that because Alia will be able, Alia will shut the fuck up in this game. There is an option here that will allow you to have the navigator on or the navigator off. You can also turn on nightmare effects. I'll get into that later on. You got vibration, which probably won't work for me, but I'll turn it on anyway. You got cutscene voiceovers, which you can turn on or off as well. I might decide to leave it on or off depending on, you know, because it is easier to just talk through the dialogue and the, um, the, you know, the voiceovers can be kind of irksome sometimes. So, you know, there you go. There's also an option in tweaks which will allow you to actually exit the stage before you even clear it. So, yeah, just like with my, um, what LP was that that I did? It was at, I think it was, oh yeah, it was, um, Project Zero. Mega Man X Project Zero. Yeah, 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 I like that. Which will allow, yeah, they gave you an option which will allow you to leave the stage before you can clear it. It's fucking awesome. Don't mind these strange things here. Whoa! Look at me! Sorry, but I'm not being shish kebab today, bitches. No! Oh, oh! Come again? Ah, uh, no, no. But yeah. Ooh, fucking a. Uh. So damn, he looks beat the fuck up. <laughs> oh yeah, you can also change the custom palette for some of the other reploids or allies and enemies in the game as well. It is awesome. You guys all right? X, thank goodness you're here. The giant mechanoloid is in the next room. We tried neutralizing it, but the thing's acting like it's possessed or something. We we panicked and got hurt and... Return to base, you two. I'll take it from here. All right, thank you. Be careful, X. A possessed mechanoloid, huh? Sounds dangerous. Somebody could get killed. Uh, out of here. Uh, no, no, no. We gotta save these guys. So let's do it! Oh wait, they're already going. <laughs> now viewers, see here? It just froze. Watch. I'm fast forwarding. Warning! Warning! Whoa! That is a big ass robot. <laughs> was even bigger as me slashing into you, bitch! It's time for a boss fight! Versus D-1000! Oh no, you didn't just crash into me! That big-ass body of yours. Yeah, gonna feel even bigger when I shove this giant screwdriver wrench thing inside of you! 
<laughs> you can try. Yeah! Now, in order to incapacitate D1000, you need to take out that giant, um, that giant dick ball up here. Yeah. Dick and bowels. <laughs> Ow! Now, you'll notice D1000's life bar. You see where it says level 4? Yeah, depending on the level of the enemy will determine how much HP they will have. So yeah, in, in regular X in regular X6, you can't change the, the the difficulty level of the boss's health bars. See what I mean? So yeah, normally you see X's vitality bar. This would be the vitality bar of this boss because you just this is the intro stage boss. So needless to say, yeah, pretty much he'd be weak as shit. But I made it so the game is more difficult, giving the bosses more fucking vitality. Meaning they won't be going down so fucking easily. So, there you go. Come on, bitch! Whoa! This is dangerous! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Gotcha, bitch! Now that's a back shot! A C gets more difficult. Huh? Nani? Out of here. What the fuck was that? Z Zero? Whatever the fuck that thing is just came up and stole my fucking thunder. Warning. Warning. Warning! 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 Yeah, I made it so you get the voice at the voiceovers for the warning sign as well as the boss intros, just like I did with X5 Improvement Project Addendum. It is fucking awesome. So this was all Zero's doing. Our suspicions were right on the money. Who are you? Identify yourself. <laughs> he used my line. I am Hymax. My mission is to hunt down the Zero Nightmare. Zero? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, Maverick Hunter. You're you're not here by mere chance. You have some connection to the Zero Nightmare. Speak. That's my line. What does Zero have to do with this? You have so you know something about him, don't you? Fine. If you're not going to talk willingly, then I'll make you. Make me then. Whoa! GG if that hit me right, boy, with that really damaged me. But, of course, plot armor. Is that all, Maverick Hunter? <laughs> and I thought you were strong? Talk about Cap. It was foolish of me to consider you a threat. I'll let you live this time, but if you interfere with my mission again, I will personally end you. Wow, now that's a threat! I couldn't even put a scratch on that guy. What's this Zero Nightmare he was talking about? That dream I had earlier, does it have anything to do with this? What the hell is going on? That's what I would like to know, but unfortunately the plot is going to interfere first. Don't worry, the plot will gradually ease us in. But here's our new, here's our new result screen. It looks a bit more technical and refined, unlike X5's version. X5's version looked like shit, to be honest. And I love X5, but X5 just had some shit that X5, that X6 kind of corrected a little better. Don't mind this. Don't mind Data 1. Don't look at it. It's, it's from my test. It's from my test run. So, um, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> no spoilers! What the fuck is with this dude's head? <laughs> he looks like, he look, look at his chin. It looks like he has a fucking giant ass toilet paper roll on his head and his chin. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, we watch the news. <laughs> Nightmare to Yobu Kotonista. 
Yeah, you see me having to fast forward doing this, some of these cutscenes, viewers? Yeah, it's going to happen. So, hopefully, you can deal with it like I am. Nightmare. So basically this So basically this nightmare thing is kinda of like the Sigma virus. Interesting. Oh my gosh, I have to fast forward a lot in this cutscene. As you know, ever since the space colony and Eurasia incident, the population count. Yeah. We can't fuck under these conditions! <laughs> yeah. We can't afford any more losses. Otherwise, people can't reproduce. Yeah. Able body reploids. You must work, or we're doomed. そこで事態を重く見た我々は内海で進め疑いのある八つのエリアに調査員を送り込んだ。Investigators。Wait a minute, zero. Huh, so that piece of, whatever that dick thing was that that dude saw at the beginning. Wow. How dare you! But Alien, he is shitting on Zero's legacy! <laughs> Support our cause by supporting our Patreon. No. How how can you erase a ghost? That's that's just What kind of writing is this? Oh, that big black reploid that we fought a little while ago. Yeah, they're all weak and can't handle it no more. Why even mention Repla Force at all? They they are long since done. This dude talks like a fucking preacher. Like, bro, we get it. We get it. How dare he blame Zero for all this? After all he did! Yeah. The only reason I get, I, I get upset in any of these games is when you interject and interrupt me, Alia. That's the only reason I get upset. Outside of bad right. So basically, we might have to end up fighting a, a dank version of Zero? Wow. Can you find out anything? I mean, you always interrupt us during always interrupted us during X5. Surely you know where these investigators are. 
So I guess we're going in blind then. Wow. Yeah, it rubs me the wrong way the way they just shit on Zero like that. Yeah, we must identify it. The world is already in a fucking crisis. What the fuck are you talking about? We're not even on the precipice anymore. Like, what the fuck was he going on about? The world's already been in a crisis ever since the end of X4. Like, literally. Our mission is simple. In order to determine the nature of the nightmare, we're to search the areas assigned to each of Isaac's eight investigated locations. However, considering our current situation, the only one qualified for this mission is UX. Since Zero is no longer with us, Arceus rest his soul, we have no choice but to place our hopes on you. Can you do it? I'll do it. I just managed to acquire some data on the investigators, as well as the nightmare itself. I'm getting some heavy interference though, so I can't get any specifics. What I do know is that some areas may present bizarre environmental changes due to the nightmare's influence. But yeah, pretty much. Don't push yourself too hard. Um, X? What is it, alien? Nothing. Just watch out for yourself. Okay? Huh. But yeah, there's also reploids around that may follow Isaac's, you know, talk and shit. So yeah, we gotta find them just like we did in X5. But yeah, Douglas is back as well, so he'll be handling our gear and shit like that. Luckily, we don't have to fire no fucking Enigma cannon in this game, so don't worry about that. But yeah, all of X's parts will... X will get his own parts, and then there are other parts that he can acquire that both he and whoever the fuck this dude is, question mark dude, can acquire as well. So, there you go. But, yeah, pretty much in a nutshell. That being said, though, we got the Nightmare Investigator stages here. We got eight of them in total. But which one will we go to first? Can we stop whatever this Nightmare is? Find out next time. Guys, enjoy it. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for giving this from me. And, of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to notify my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment. Duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, my Parade Break game and hope Parade Breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.